Hi, I'm Bai Zhang, and today I'll be talking to you about how we created our Lego robot to pick up fabric. We worked as a team for several days on creating a robot, and we originally planned to create a robot that would pick up fabric and discard the fabric depending on the size of the fabric, if we wanted it or if we didn't want it. The main controller part of this robot is this brick right here and inside of it, it has the program that's already been um, written into it that will control the robot and it will tell the robot uh, whether to discard, um, how the sensor is going to work. It's all into this main brick right here and it's hooked up to, on the, the top right here, it's hooked up to motors that control the lever and it's hooked up to the motor that controls the wheels down here that makes the whole robot move. Um, the sensors would be uh, connected underneath here and when the program is started it just goes through all the motors and sensors. One type of sensor we were going to use on this robot was a light sensor and we were going to place it um, by the lever where the um, cloth would be picked up. The fabric will eventually come up from in between these two tires. They are uh, created to move in opposite directions to pick up the fabric as it comes up through here. And it'll slide over here and this is just, a, just like a turning conveyor belt and the fabric will just easily slide over and will be placed right on top of here. And this is the little lever that will uh, discard the fabric or throw it in a pile where it should be kept. Throughout the whole process, uh, we had to make a lot of changes. Um, our original idea we created, it was too small and we had to expand it. Um, first, we started off with just our original plan, like uh, our first robot we made was just basically this brick right here was on top of the wheels. And from there, we we're just going to keep going. Uh, another team member was working on this part of it, so we didn't really like put this into play into the whole overall design yet. So when we created our robot, we actually had to take apart the wheel because it wasn't moving correctly and the wheels uh, weren't, this conveyor belt like wheel type wasn't tight enough. So we had to make it tighter. The robot could said to be designed for um, people who like to sew a lot. Um, that was the original idea. Um, one of our team members liked to sew a lot and she would have leftover fabrics just scattered on the floor, um, just pins and everything. And she just wanted an easier way, um, a creative way, like such as making a robot that could do this task for her, uh, could easily go around and just pick up the different pieces of fabric, you know, depending on the size, uh, discarding it or keeping it and putting those into separate piles. So it's just kind of like a clean up robot. And that was kind of how the um, idea was created um, to create this robot that could do this simple task. <laughs>